We have come to a point in the age of our civilization, thanks to the efforts of countless individuals who, in the pursuit of truth, specifically the reality of a lost past, a lost civilization once possessing now lost technologies, has finally arrived on the main stage of debate. It has come to a point of critical mass. Either having been made aware of their existence, or indeed realizing or stumbling upon this hidden truth independently, regardless, we have uncovered an immense array of proof to not only confirm their existence, but a proof now all but overwhelming to argue with. The entire planet, literally littered with impossible remnants, left by what we believe was not only one, but part of an array of lost civilizations, several of which being past global superpowers. Yet I digress. The artifacts found throughout Giza, for example, demonstrate a seemingly impossible ability to move and carve stones with the tools mainstream academics would put in the builder's hands, making such creations impossible. There exists within the museum's archives themselves a smorgasbord of vases and stone cores, lay for all to see, each suggest that they were not only the result of some form of advanced lathe work, but other far superior and powerful tools far ahead of that of the copper chisel, which to claim was the culprit, we feel is now nothing more than an offense to one's intelligence, when the evidence to suggest otherwise is in front of one's face at the same time. We have previously covered the vases supposedly made using nothing but copper in the past, specifically the trilobe disc. Yet the many other members of the collection known as the Saqqara vases not only demonstrate a mastery of lathe work, but some are so impossibly delicate that when attempted to be explained with modern paradigm, one is left utterly baffled. What lost technologies or techniques were used in the creation of these vases? Article 99 from the Anorthosite Nice catalog, but one example of this extraordinary ability to either cut or possibly mold these stone vases. With wafer-thin edges and a shape formed with the lip, demonstrating they would be impossible to recreate even with the advanced technology of a lathe. Who made these seemingly impossible artifacts, along with the unmissable Great Pyramids, highly compelling?